हाई ऑल हाउ हैव यू बीन डूइंग आई नो इट्स बीन क्वाइट लॉन्ग वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियो माई डॉटर कायाज रूम टोर इट्स बीन टू मंथ सिंस वी मूव टू अर न्यू हाउस एंड आई एम स्लोली ऑर्गेनाइजिंग ईच रूम इन द हाउस लिटल बाई लिटल दिस इज वेर आई कीप ऑल ऑफ हर क्लोथ दैट शी वेयर एट होम दिस ड्रॉर वॉज इन अ मेस एंड आई एम गोइंग टू फोल्ड एंड टाइडी दिस अप This method is called the KonMari way of organizing where you fold the clothes in three halves and equal portions so that it looks pleasing to the eyes and then stack it up sideways so that it's easy to find and put it back in place too. The second drawer below has her active wear that she uses for outdoor sport classes. and the third drawer has her barbies which i dare not to touch since it's super messy and it goes back to the same in just a span of 10 minutes <laughs> the top cabinet we have custom made this extra shelf so that the space is accurately utilized and i can hang more clothes we have also given soft clothes on every drawer and cabinet I also got this over the door hanger from IKEA with five hooks where I'm going to organize her sling bags. These are great to utilize the door space effectively. This drawer is where I'm going to arrange her nightwear, the same KonMari way of organizing. This drawer was in a total mess. I needed to organize this. This organizer from IKEA is great for drawers. I'm going to organize Kaya's hair bands here. I got this handles and knob from IKEA for revamping her 4 year old chest of drawers that she had. This has given such a new and pretty look to this boring white piece of furniture. We have been going through another round of self-imposed isolation due to the surge in infections in the country. It has become all the more necessary to keep Kaya engaged at home. Sometimes she just needs someone to interact with to keep all her learning alive. Kamli is still our go-to class for whenever she needs some practice communicating with teachers from other nationalities. All of the below teachers are Americans. Look at the American flags. Papa gave me this bracelet. Tutors on Camly Kids are native English speakers from UK, USA, Canada, etc. My name is Deliana. I'm a fully qualified nursery and ESL teacher. My name is Kaya. I'm six and a half year old. Well, thank you for choosing to do a lesson with me today. I am very excited. And shall we get started? Are you ready? Okay. And all classes are one on one over video chat and can be done 24/7. What do you see a picture of? I think uh, his balloon is popping. Mm, he he is. needs a map. So it's like a GPS map. The lesson plan covers grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, accent training and tutors teach in the most fun and engaging way. making the child very comfortable right i'm so I'm scared also. of sunflowers you scared of them yeah because there's oh. bees inside it the curriculum details are available on the website it is ideal for those parents who want their children to overcome their shyness and become smart and confident speakers Camly Kids is certified by the Kids Safe Seal program and is marked as a child friendly website. Is it? That's right. 
You can start with the Camly Kids trial class for 30 minutes, scheduled at your convenience at just Rs. 99. Links are in the description box below. Okay, Kaya, thank you. You did so well today for helping me throughout this lesson and helping Sammy fix his balloon. There was this banner from her old room, so I decided to put it back here since she loves it. This macrame wall hanging is also old from her old room. This drawer below her window sitting has most of her soft toys. This drawer is deep and big and is good for keeping the big soft toys that she loves cuddling often. I also got this pink throw for her window sitting to match the pink theme in her room also with other two cushion covers. This is one of my favorite part of our room, the window setting. This idea was by Live Space and we loved it. To utilize the space well, they have also given these two big drawers under the seating for storage. This organizer is from IKEA as well. It's called the Trofast series. I have been using it for the past 3 years now and I find it extremely helpful in organizing all her toys. To make things a little more organized, I am going to label each box since now Kaya started to read well. This trolley is also from IKEA which is also few years old. I use it to organize her art and craft supplies. These boxes are also from IKEA and is great to organize craft things like crayon, sequins, beads, etc. By the way, this sharpener is from Amazon and I would highly recommend it for kids who have started using pencils. To use, you put the pencil in and it's 90% less likely to break the lead, resulting in less wastage of the pencil and sharps the pencil so well. This is where it collects the waste and you can take it out and dump it easily without it flying everywhere. This drawer under the window sitting has her random and bulky toys. This is her bunk bed which also has storage in the end of the bed. Apparently she has applied makeup on her ponies by coloring their faces with her colored sketch pens. <laughs> Below has her school folders that she needs during her online classes. And here's more school books. This chest of drawer had become quite dirty with time. I'm using a solution of half vinegar, half water and few drops of dish soap to clean.
I also custom made this painting from an online store called Talange. This turquoise color mermaid matches some of the green in her room, like her pendant light, desk chair, window cushion, etc. This sign is from her old room too. I'm sure a lot of you already know. This is from an online store called Gift Style India. All done and now let's do a quick room tour. As we enter the room, the first thing we see is the window setting with a hut design on top and cabinets on each side. On the left hand side of the door is the toy organizer that you saw organizing me a while ago. This is the end of our bunk bed which has a small cabinet and beside that there's shelves for more storage. We have made this mirror inbuilt on the wall with LED lights behind the sides of the mirror. Here's the full view of the window setting. These are two cabinets on each side of the window setting with three drawers on each side. For the window, we went for blinds that's easy to open and close. This is one of my favorite part of our room too. We went for an accent wall for one side of our room. These are called boards and batten or trims. Basically, these are MDF plank cut in long lines and nailed it to the wall. Kaya chose the color, she wanted a lavender color for the walls. This is from the Asian Paints Lusture range. This pendant light is from IKEA too. The desk chair is also from IKEA and it's a swivel chair with backrest and wheels. Her bed is a bunk bed with study underneath and cabinet from IKEA. We customized it according to our needs. This has created a lot of space in her room since the study table is under and doesn't take up extra space. We went for a rainbow and cloud design for the fall ceiling and painted the rest of the ceiling in sky blue color to make it look like the sky. It turned out just as we imagined it. And with that, let's end the tour here. It's almost lunch time and I'm going to make a thali. I'm making sambal with a lot of veggies since it's one of the easiest way I can make Kaya eat her vegetables. For making sambar, I'm going to boil the dal for 5 whistles, then smash it well till smooth. And then add the cut vegetables and give 2 more whistles. 
This way, your dal is nice and smooth at the same time you have your vegetables intact and not mushy. I'm also going to make bitter gourd fry. In a bowl, I'm adding 3 tablespoons jaggery, tamarind pulp and hot water to add to the sambar later. Then I'm going to fry some cut brinjal along with bitter gourd, haldi and salt. For the tarka, I have added mustard seeds, curry leaves, dry red chilies and some small onions. I will add the tarka to the sambar along with sambar powder. Today, instead of using the grinder, I am using the traditional way of crushing the ginger and garlic for the egg curry. For the egg curry in a karai, I will fry the boiled eggs first, then I will add a bay leaf and chopped onions along with crushed ginger garlic. For the masala, I will add haldi, red chilli powder, jeera and coriander powder. Once everything is cooked well, I will add water and eggs to it and it's done. Our delicious thali is ready. Bitter got brinjal fry, sambar, egg curry, curd, pickle and papar. And we finally have our dining table too, which I'm going to show you in my next video. It's almost 5 in the evening and I'm back in the kitchen since I had some pending task. This is a 40 year old cast iron karai which my mom gave me this time I visited Kolkata to meet them. It was all rusted and I'm going to show you how to restore and make it look like new today. I'm going to use baking powder which helps to get rid of rust. Along with a tiny drop of dish soap, I will scrub it well and make sure there is no rust on it. Then I will wipe it dry and put it on the gas flame to dry it further. After it's heated well and smoke starts coming out, I will switch off the flame and rub few drops of oil and coat it thoroughly. I will repeat the process 3 to 4 times, heat till smoke emits, switch the gas off, re-oil it. This is called seasoning and it helps to make your cast iron non-sticky as much as possible. Now check this out, I'll fry an egg to show you that a well seasoned pan can almost act like a non-stick, there's nothing stuck to the karai. Here are a few things that my mom got from my hometown from our kitchen garden. Red ripened chilies, sun dried. I will lay them over this cane baskets to dry it a little more for a week or so. Also this bay leaves direct from the tree. I am also going to dry them for 2-3 to three days again so that it stays nice and crisp for use. My father is really good at making pickles. He made this green chilli pickle, ghost chilli pickle, which is native to the northeast region of India. Also some mango and wild olive pickle, also called as jalpai in Bengali. I'm boiling these potatoes for making aloo mutter samosa for snack. To my pre-seasoned karai, I'm going to add some dry red chilies, jeera seeds, boiled cut potatoes along with green peas. Also some haldi, red chilli powder, jeera and garam masala. 
for making the samosa i'm using this ready made samosa patti sheets that i got from big basket it's a pack of 50 sheets for 50 rupees which is inexpensive and makes samosa making a breeze the folding part can be a little tricky but you will get a hang of it once you do it a few times i'm using the same kadai for deep frying as well since it's small in size and needs less oil to deep fry cast iron retains heat very well so make sure your gas flame is in low or else it tends to burn easily A lot of you ask me what do I do with the oil that I deep fry with? I usually pour it in a bottle after it's cooled, then use it as soon as possible since it's not advisable to consume the deep fried well stored over a long period of time. Also this handy knife sharpener from IKEA is a blessing. It's so easy to sharpen my knives whenever I feel it has got blunt. I'm going to make broad bean aloo sabzi and roti for dinner tonight. and i'm using the same cast iron kadai for that to the kadai i added some nutella seeds along with the cut aloo and beans by the way i don't have a lid for the kadai yet so i need to buy a lid that fits this well for the masala i have added haldi red chili powder jeera and coriander powder along with some cut tomatoes I'm also cutting some cucumber, carrots and onions for salad. For washing the curry, I usually wash it with very less dish soap and scrub it well since it can be quite harsh for the coating. Then I repeat the process of heating the curry in gas flame to dry it well and coat it with oil and it's ready to use again. Kaya has started to sleep in her bed these days though there are most days when she would give different excuses to sleep with us some days it's too cold some days she's scared of some sound in her room some day it's the wind outside the room some day she would just crawl in our bed and sleep off before i finish my nighttime chores and come to the bed at times we feel it's us to be blamed we have too soft a heart to say her no And that's it for today's one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.